So I'm back again today with some more dung. So getting there, the pit's getting a wee bit further back now in the midden there. Uh, I'm in the 7030, which is uh, quite a powerful yoke. Just uh, she's just done. There you can see there three eight three ninety. Nearly 8,400 hours now. Electric spools, I don't like these ones. We've had some ballers with them and you have to keep changing the splices and they're not cheap, so I prefer the manual spools for that. But apparently the sidewinder's better, so that's the next stage up. But she's some bus, she's actually been remapped, uh, put 60 horse on her which made a big difference to the power she puts out. Completely different tractor now, which also gives her this absolutely lovely rip. <laughs> absolutely love hearing that noise. <laughs> so, uh, it's just some yoke, uh, plenty of power about her. Not as much as the 7040, but a uh, Oh, we weren't expecting that with the 7040, but when this got remapped, what an absolute beast she became. She was good before, but it just made her so much more lively. Um, she handles the dung spreader, no bother too, so that's good for her. <laughs> so I'll go load her up. As you can see there in front, there's the loads of lime. Dad got three Arctic loads of lime, and we put about a third of a bucket in between all the dung and then we spread it and that puts a wee drop lime out onto the, the ground. So that's two of these big buckets in there. The bucket's just wide enough that it's half and half which is perfect for filling it up. So I'm gonna get a wee bucket of lime here. It's around a third of a bucket. And then we just sprinkle it between the front and the back and try and evenly, evenly load it. A wee bit of spillage isn't a problem, I can scrape it up and put it in another load, it won't matter. Some people might be like, oh, but what's your application rate? <laughs> it's just a third of a bucket, it doesn't matter. It doesn't need to be that accurate, it's just a wee sniff really, just to keep it right. We do it every year, so it just keeps the soil right. Just a wee sniff of it. And then the, the fields that are just coming out of grass or going back into silage, we'll put put a bit more dung in, eh, not dung, lime. 
because it won't be getting lime for a few years. I just if we put the lime on the on the arable ground and then it just keeps everything right. That beeping noise are annoying me. Yeah. Just shows you how heavy it is, though, right enough. Around six full buckets will fill this, or more, it just depends. Bro, that's our loaded. Well, full this time, like. As they say, loader well and driver let hell. <laughs> She's got slicks on. Problems trying to get up the hill the other day with this because of that. So, it's good when they're at that tread depth because they don't uh, rip up the grass, but you do need some grip. If the strop's threading slurry because it got so wet after a big pile of rain overnight and it was just going to end up making a hell of a mess, so I've just had to switch to dung, which is fine. Cause that's just another job that needs done. I've actually nearly finished the field, there's only a wee bit left to do. And to avoid the pond in the middle, I'll show you he's better in a minute, the windows are dirty. This tractor's needing a wash, but we're busy. We're busy. As per, gateways are getting a bit wet, but I'm nearly finished the field anyway, it's getting ploughed. So the first few loads didn't get any lime and then further across it got lime so I'm going to show you you can actually see the lime through the dung it's quite good, it shows you how even it spread so I'm not sure if you can see it but you can see just the wee specks, the wee white specks and that's all the the lime getting spread through the dung very evenly spread because that's one hell of a good dung spreader it's got a good spreading width and very constant this bit it's a bit bearer because it was a load of slurry basically it was what was at the front of the pit but in general beautiful even spreader dung you can see over here no lime So, that's just because there was no lime there yet and I shouldn't have started, but I did. But, oh well, I'll be fine. Just need to give it a bit more lime on this side of the field next year. Ah, oh, love it! <laughs> Sorry, bit of a kid. Don't care. So I've got the beaters going. Need to rev that up to about a thousand shaft. Get the back door open. Get the floor going, sit for a minute, wait on it, come in. You can see the wet patch there now.
hasn't been the best. It's really hard to drain because it's in a hollow. Dad always said it was very well drained years ago and it worked really well. But he said that silage trailers came through from a field up there down through the centre and he says that the soil is a bit peaty. So when it went through, uh, it kind of the silage trailer shoved the ground down, which in turn ended up pushing all the drains down and making a kind of U-shape. We've been trying for years to sort it and it's... We have sorted it and then the drains choke. It's just because it's so level going through here, because it's to go through there and through a slight gully there and doing and it's, it chokes just around about there so dad's been at the drain this morning so hopefully it'll drain away now at least it's not a pond it was an absolute pond last year and it's a uh, well it's not so much a pond this year but at least it's well it's definitely still no right because it was a pond during the winter but it's a uh, it's, it's still wet. Thank you again for watching another Drew Drew video. <laughs> Sorry, Drew's Farming Life video. Hope you all have enjoyed. Uh, next time it'll be likely ploughing. Uh, don't like to repeat my videos because this is all I'm doing at the moment is spreading dung and slurry. Uh, but hopefully soon I'll be at ploughing. And uh, at 20,000 subscribers, I'll get a machinery tour done for you. It'll be very interesting. Worth it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. See you next time.